Hi. So I was going to post a video, but then instead of editing it and posting it, I ended up doing handstands. So I didn't get a video posted. Um, but then you did instead, so that's cool. Great minds think alike. Woo! Except fools seldom differ. So I have no idea which one we are, but I hope... I hope we're the great minds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in the video the stuff I took yesterday. I'm going to edit it in. It's not going to be a lot of it. Most of it actually was me just kind of staring into my tablet because I got distracted and started just playing Clash Clans. The other half of the video is practically just me on the floor doing nothing. <laughs> I was very bored and I hadn't planned anything for the video yesterday. So I'm going to edit that in now. I'm bored and I miss you and I wish you were here and I'm bored and I'm bored and I'm to so totally dying of boredom. Ugh. I'm like so bored I'm not even hungry. Shouldn't I be doing something? I'm so bored. <laughs> Nothing's interesting me. Oh God. My feet are cold. Yay! That was... Interesting. I hope it was interesting. I haven't actually edited it yet. See what I did there. Movie magic. Aw, yeah. You're knitting fast. It was you were, you were just going fast. Like, I couldn't see the fingers and the, the, the moving and the stuff. It was, like, actually pretty fast. Um, and that's seriously cool because you've gotten really good. Like, I remember when, when you couldn't even... Do a stitch. You were just so confused, and now you're just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. I'm just talking and being awesome and making a scarf that's like five miles long. Oh yeah, like that. That's how cool you are, right now. That is exactly how cool you are. I'm so glad that you're starting up in prodigies as well, because when you restarted it, you got really, really excited to restart, and then you got caught up in a whole bunch of other things and weren't able. To continue it so the fact that you actually have the free time now to continue it is so great um, because then I uh, can read it sooner <laughs> bit of a selfish bit of a selfish thing but I really just want to read this it just sounds so cool especially now that you've kind of redesigned it a little bit I'm really really excited um, and I want yes I have figured out something for myself that I'm going to write because you know how like I do want to write a book. I do want to write a book. I do. But I can't hold a story for very long and it's always a problem I've had. Um, the most I can really do is short stories. Like I didn't get very far in any of my NaNoWriMo's. I always quit like about maybe 6,000 words and I stop and I'm not able to continue. I was, I was, I was going through a bunch of my old writings uh, yesterday, two days ago with Tim. And I was just reading them aloud, and I found one that I had forgotten that I would written. And I reread it, I'm like, oh, I like this. And he was like, I like this too. And then he had an idea, which I kind of really like, because my writing style isn't storytelling. My writing style isn't like, she said this, and then she walked over and picked up the book, and opened it, and in it she noticed the name, and that gave her an epiphany, and then she, so she walked over here, and then this thing, and she walked over there, and fought that guy, and then won, and fought the boss, and yay, everyone's happy. That's not my storytelling style. My, my writing style is more I'm gonna say prosaic but it's 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 more like consciousness like it's it's kind of more of a stream of consciousness it's describing things it's not so much telling what happened but just describing what it looks like and what it feels like and that's a lot of how I write and it's a lot of how I enjoy to write I enjoy it much better and I find it much easier so he had an idea of maybe doing just instead of one long story of just doing kind of like journal entries or something of just someone just writing down their thoughts it doesn't have to have like oh yesterday I met this cute girl next page oh my gosh I called her up and we're going on a date next page this has happened no I'm not gonna 
not anything like that, but kind of just and kind of imply a storyline are really just things that happen in their life and they can like reoccur and come back or something. So I was like, oh, that's a cool idea. But then I just, um, that night, that night as I went back and I was about to fall asleep, that night I just had like, boom, epiphany, yes, epiphany? I guess it's an epiphany. It's not just like, I understand, but it's more of like, I've thought of a reason or thought of a solution. So I guess that's kind of like an epiphany. Wow, I am talking a lot. Eh? This is gonna be a long video. Yeah, it's already like pat six minutes long. I'm sorry, this is a really long video. I'll try and edit it out. Um, so I was thinking maybe I could do just like a bunch of little blurbs about all the people that go to this one cafe and I actually started planning out this cafe and I can explain it to you later. But it's just like, I am so excited. I am so excited that I can actually, like this is something that I can do. I can actually do this. It's not a long story that I'm gonna lose interest in part way through. This is something that I can do, I know how to do, and it's just gonna be so interesting because it's gonna have so many characters and so many things and oh my gosh, the cafe is so eclectic and I love it and I can't wait to show you like what I've what I've been thinking so far. And and yeah. But I'm hungry and I need to pee and this video is already really long. So I'm gonna go. I love you. Bye bye. I got your nose. Something blinked. Oh, it's the TV.